Over the last 12 months, we've heard numerous reports from Chinese battery companies of semi-solid state batteries. Well, to be fair, unfortunately, they haven't lived up to the hype. Neo has just put a semi-solid state battery from We Lion into its new electric car. And the range was less than similar lithium ion batteries. In other words, it's a bit of a pointless exercise. But that's all very different when it comes to true solid state batteries, whose theoretical energy density is up to three times higher than what we have in lithium batteries today. QuantumScape have been saying for a long time, they've been working on solid state batteries for electric cars. Volkswagen believes that they're onto something, and that's why they invested hundreds of millions of dollars into QuantumScape. Well, now QuantumScape have said they are working with an automotive partner very likely to be Volkswagen, considering Volkswagen have invested massively into the company, on deploying their first solid-state battery-powered electric cars. If Volkswagen were to unveil this technology in one of their EVs, well, the world would go crazy. Is this about to happen? It could be. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for subscribing to the channel. QuantumScape is an American company that develops solid state lithium metal batteries for its, well, for electric cars. The company is headquartered in San Jose in California and employs around 400 people. Investors include Bill Gates and Volkswagen. The company was launched in 2010 and since then it's been working its tail off to get solid state battery technology into the first electric cars. It's like a gold rush. Everyone's running towards the finish line, QuantumScape's hoping it's first, and about 50 other companies are hoping that they can win too. Now, no one really knows who is winning right now. However, QuantumScape says it is working closely with a prospective launch customer in the automotive sector for the first commercial QS product. Green Car Congress says that based on the company's latest shareholder letter for Q2, QS or QuantumScape previously disclosed customer sampling agreements with six, not just one, but six automakers and a stationary storage provider, as well as product tests with some of the largest consumer electronics players in the world. But this is the first time the company has revealed that it's actively engaging with launch partners. Maybe the technology is ready. Maybe we will see solar state batteries in EV soon. Now, keep in mind, Toyota says it's been working on these as well for about 15 years. In fact, Toyota claimed in 2015 it had a prototype and it would shortly have them in its electric cars. It said that by no later than 2020, Toyota would have EVs all over the world powered by solid state batteries. Well, Nissan are making similar claims. However, there's a lot of skepticism about those claims. There's no information that's been disclosed, none on how they work, what the technology is. It's really just big, grand, bold statements with almost no substance. Very different to QuantumScape. Here's how QuantumScape's words in the shareholder letter appear to actually be legitimate. They said, we are happy to report that we have shipped high cathode loading unit cells to multiple automotive partners in line with our development roadmap. This is an important milestone because this level of cathode loading is close to our commercial intent cathode design for high energy dense cells and represents a significant step toward delivering a commercial product in our view. When combined with the 24 layer capability we have already shown in our AO prototype cells, and other planned improvements, these shipments represent a validation of our ability to achieve industry-leading energy and power performance for our first commercial product. Now, if you paid me for all the videos and news articles out there saying that, like I said, Toyota and other companies, solid state battery technology was right on the precipice and it will destroy the competition, then I'd be a very rich man. However, like I said, there are almost no details on that technology. In that paragraph I just shared with you, well, there's some pretty specific details on the number of layers, the cathodes, how this technology works, and the fact that this has been sent to automakers. Now that is legitimate, and a lot more legitimate than bold marketing claims with zero substance. From the next section of the letter, Clean Technica says on its product roadmap, the company writes, as announced last quarter, our first commercial product is planned to be a five amp hour cell, which we believe will offer a combination of energy density and power unmatched by the leading EV batteries available today. Whoa, 
Now that's laying the smack down. That sounds very, very real. We are designating this product QSE5. We are already working closely with a prospective launch customer in the automotive sector for this cell with the goal of bringing our next gen technology to the electric vehicle market as quickly as possible. Then they shared this actual interesting graphic. As the chart shows, our technology enables a shift of the entire energy power performance frontier. We expect QSC5 to push this frontier well beyond the capabilities of today's best performing AV cells, better than 800 watts per litre, with the ability to charge from 10 to 80% in 15 minutes. That's not super fast, but this would be first generation technology. I'm assuming that further generations down the line would charge faster than that. We believe this is a unique selling point, with our technology enabling longer range, higher power, and faster charging. Automotive OEMs gain the ability to better differentiate their EV offerings. I can see this technology coming out in supercars. That would enable supercar manufacturers to have a clear, distinctive difference. At the moment, I mean, what's the difference between the technology in a Tesla Model S Plaid and that in something like a rematch Navira, which costs about 50 times more money? Not a lot, really. Yes, the Navira is slightly fast, but only by virtue of the fact that it has two seats and is significantly smaller. So. Supercar manufacturers need a differentiator. They need something to actually entice buyers to say, this is the reason you should buy this. I see these types of batteries as being that reason. The next question is, when will we see these batteries in cars? Well, they said, delivering on our product roadmap will undoubtedly require us to successfully address many technical and manufacturing challenges, including our key goals for 2023. In other words, they're saying many technical and manufacturing challenges. They've still got a fair way to go, I'd say. They went on. However, we believe QSE5 raises the bar for EV performance and puts battery development on a fundamentally new trajectory. To help investors and the general public understand the complexity of designing more energy dense batteries, we have developed a series of educational blogs. I'll put a link in the description below to those blogs. You can check them out if you like. Our technology, as the chart shows, enables a shift of the entire energy performance frontier. Do I agree with that comment? Categorically, no. We're years and years away from mass production going into massive, you know, millions of cars worldwide. That won't happen for at least a decade. When it does, by the time it does, current lithium-ion technology will be significantly better than what it is today. We've seen huge improvements in lithium-ion technology over the past decade. There's no reason to assume that those improvements that we're seeing almost every year will slow down or stop. That means that solid-state batteries, commercialized ones, will have to compete with the future improved, cheaper, more efficient, faster charging lithium ion batteries. That will be a battle. And no one really knows whether solid state batteries will ever take off as QuantumScape are claiming. Could they completely change the paradigm? They could, but there's a long way to go yet. That's what I think anyway. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thanks for watching.